You've all seen the <coughs> stem ginger biscuits that I've made. And <coughs> sorry, here they are. Here's what's left in here. Now, when I was making them, I did say that they were to go with dessert. And on my hob, I'd had part of the dessert. So, what I had on my hob was some rhubarb that I had chopped, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh my goodness, <coughs> please excuse me. <coughs> that I had chopped into one inch pieces and I put with in a, in a saucepan with three ounces of caster sugar and three ounces of water. I brought it up to a boil, let it boil for about a minute turned it down and let it simmer for five minutes and here is the rhubarb that I cooked. I strained all of the syrup and then I heated that and until it had um, reduced, gosh I couldn't think of the word, reduced by about a third so I've got a nice rhubarb syrup there. So rhubarb, syrup, stem ginger biscuits. What could I possibly be making? Well, I'm making a rhubarb fool. No, not you the fool, a rhubarb fool. So in my bowl here, which I'm gonna bring you down and show you, I have, cause I'm only making this for two of us, remember, I have 150 ml of double cream with a teaspoon of vanilla extract and um, an ounce of sugar and I have whisked that until it's just beginning to thicken like so and I've just put it on my scales and um, now I'm going to add in some natural Greek yogurt and when I say some I'm going to add in about 200 mils hence I've put this on my scales right and let's get in over 200 but can't be helped so I won't use that because it puts this even further over 200 won't it and now what I'm going to do is mix these two the double cream and the Greek yogurt yogurt together and I've got my syrup here just going to pour a little of my rhubarb syrup, just a tiny amount, through here. So we've got a, sort of a pale pinky colour going on. And then in my glasses, we're going to put some of this mix. going to layer up the rhubarb and this rhubarb will keep in the fridge in a sealed container or covered in cling like I've done for about three or four days but it can also as you're probably well aware be frozen so drop it again more of this, a little bit more rhubarb, and 
then we're going to finish with our syrup. Now this is a very, very traditional English, British dessert. Um, once everything's made, it comes together as you can see really, really quickly. And we're just going to finish it with one of our biscuits, like so. Et voila, rhubarb full. Well, as you can gather, one of these is going through to Steve and then I'll be back for a taste test. Well then, rhubarb fool, here I come. I haven't had this in so long. And I've no idea why. The um, <clears throat> sweetness of the cream and the natural yogurt is cut through beautifully. Sorry about my voice, by the sharpness of the rhubarb. Mm. And let's try my dunked biscuit. In fact, what I'm going to do is look, I'm going to put a little of the rhubarb onto the biscuit. That is superb. Wow, that is lovely. Well, that's it. Quick, easy, and worth every second that it takes. Oh, this bit is probably chilling down your rhubarb. Please make this dish, and when you do, let me know what you think, because I think it's bloody lovely. So, thank you for watching this edition of In the Kitchen with Pen, and I will see you all again very soon. Bye bye. If you'd like to see more of what we get up to in the kitchen, click here. <laughs> If you'd like to subscribe, please click here. And obviously, don't forget to tick that ding a ling. Stand there. That ding a ling. <laughs>